hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i think i've made a lot of introductions but don't worry it's raining outside so if you hear anything on the background kindly it's rainy season so today i'm just from work as you can see me and i feel like today is the perfect day i can talk about my experience with the qatar airways recruitment so guys sit down and listen take notes if I, at all you are interested with the cabin crew which well any airline you feel like you want to go for uh, for a, in, an interview or for the recruitment so sit down and listen to me and i'm going to give you everything that i experienced since it was my first day going for such like an event and i think it's nice i think it's good yeah so let me give you the juice let me give you what always happens okay so this is the recruitment that was done 6th of january 2024 and the shortlisting was done in december i think it's the all of december so if i told you had to apply the website had the 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 invitation for you to apply for the cabin crew position so for me i did on 20 on on 19th December last year 2023 and I got shortlisted on 21st. I received my email being invited for the interview that was done on 6th as I've said of this year. So guys, as you all know, you have to prepare for an interview and mind you, this has been my dream job ever since I was young and so I did my own research on what happens on the first day the second day and the last day so i was well equipped and i was well prepared so the first thing i did was to to go for the passport pictures then uh revamp my my cv they have their own way on how you have to to write your cv so i went for that and it was little a little bit expensive i can say or it's it's affordable anyways it's not that much expensive so their theme their background theme is light blue so that is what i went for and for uh for for an interview attires were formal business attire so you will choose whatsoever you want to wear on that day but i'll i'll advise on you to put on like for women's skirts and then with a blazer and then an official top inside it it doesn't matter if it's white blue green, or anything that is just official and then for the men i feel like it should be looking good if i told you to get a, a a suit do it because this is a, a golden opportunity that, that when you win you're going to be you're going to to eat well you're going to earn well so it came my recruitment day it was on a saturday so i had to go to for an interview on a saturday the inter the interview is always done at hilton gardens in hotel airport so i went to hilton i never used an uber because my uh, my session was to be at 1 30 so that time is a it's like rush hours so when you take a, an uber it will be a little bit costly because uh because of traffic so i went straight to town i took a a, a bus that's number 34 and then we went to, to hilton let me tell you one thing it was dramatic on the way the guys the, the driver reached a place that they stood almost one hour and um i was timing when i get uh i take a, a bus as from 11 i'll be there immediately at one because mombasa road you just know how mombasa road is in traffic you can't exactly say that one hour or 30 minutes i'll be there so but i thank god because i wasn't late i arrived so uh, i arrived early with that minute so when i i boarded the bus i found my colleagues there those that are that were going for an interview uh we had two that were going for 12 uh three for 12 pm and then two of, uh, of us we were going for 1 30. 
So I arrived at Hilton Hotel. Before that, the bus stopped at the airport. So I had to walk up to, up to Hilton Hotel. But it wasn't that far, it was a little bit near and plus. If I tell you, your mind has to go for this, you have to go for it. And you don't have to complain, by the way, because once you get or you acquire the opportunity, you will as well eat well and you will not think of the struggles you encountered on the way when going for an interview. So when I arrived, the place was full and people were looking beautiful. The makeup, the lipstick, the nails, the hair, and ev Oh my God. They, those girls are... They were looking good. Even men, they were looking good. So we had to queue. Uh, so um, we had to queue. So they, they always come and call the these people, people that, that were to be interviewed at 12, they have to go to the room. So we remained outside to wait for those that were to take their interview at 12. And mind you, that time it was 1 o'clock already. So they were a little bit led and on top of that we had people that are to be taken in at around five so for me i was like at what time are they going to close and you know they can as well change their minds and cut the line like ah we are not going to go on as from this time so you can just drop your cv in the box and then you'll come back and as i'm saying it happened like that it happened like that but I think Qatar Airways is not that strict as I heard about Emirates. They're not that strict with time. So as if you can arrive there early, it should be good for you. So my turn came for me to go to the room. First of all, you have to, you people are, the, the all in, that are going for an interview, you have to go in a room to get reviewed about what to do on that time. So you are told you have to carry your invitation letter, your CV, and your passport only. So it came time for me to queue for the final interview that I was timed. But I said my confidence is going to work. So uh, it came my turn to enter uh, the room for the for the interview. The room had uh, three interviewers we had one from south africa the second from china and then one from trinidad and then one for romania who was giving a review about what you do when you queue so i i had a friend that i i just met uh, at that place so we were like together so for me, it was time for me to go inside for an interview. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Your smile, the courage, and your braveness will give you a job. The moment you stand on that door waiting for your, your fellow, uh, waiting for, uh, for one who is inside to get out for the exit after an interview, they are looking at you. So for me, what I did, when I stood on the door, I was smiling. <laughs> I was just smiling like a mad man, a mad woman. But I, I never cared because that's the way you have to show your impression, the first impression that is to be seen by the interviewers. And let me tell you one secret with the customer service. Customer service, you should be, you should be, like the first impression gives everything to your client. When you will come gloomy, that's how the client will be. But when you come smiling, that's how the, the process will be. So for me, I'm already in this industry and I know how to how to make someone happy. So when I, end, uh, I went in, my interviewer was a South African. So first of all, I smiled when standing, waiting for the other one to leave the room. I was smiling and confident. So when she said that next, I walked in smiling and then she said hi. Do you know how I responded? Hi! In like confident. Confidence will give you a job. The only thing you have to wear is confidence. Be confident and smile. Anywhere, any room you should you will you will be going for an interview. 
Be bold, like be vibrant. Just smile, don't be gloomy and tense. Don't show your weaknesses. So for me, I smiled. I went in. He say, she said hi, I said hi in a smiling way. And then she told me to, to hand over my CV. I gave her my CV and then she asked me the question. I answered while smiling. And the question was, tell me more about yourself. And in my mind, that thing was just ringing. That's the most first thing they should, they can as well ask you. But it's not that it's a guarantee. But it's just a random question so you can't know what it is exactly you're going to be asked so me for me i answered and i had watched a video in youtube and the lady told uh, the lady was explaining when you are being asked about tell me more about yourself you should give the you should give your narrative according to the customer service line so if at all it's all about yourself you should just introduce yourself uh your high rank of education and then tell them you can as well lie. Tell them for the like for the past five years I've been working in the customer service uh, industry. So when you say like that, you should mention like two companies that you've worked for, and then the roles you've been doing. So for me, I did that, and I was lucky to be picked on. And then she told me to go and uh, like you have to be 12, 212 centimeters average. And lucky enough. <coughs> Sorry, lucky enough, guys. I'm tall. I always thought I'm short. I'm not. I'm tall. This is the, this is the height for a woman. This is the height for a woman. But the advantage is you can tiptoe, so you can tiptoe to reach that 212 centimeters, and I did. And then the woman was so kind, and she was so good. I felt like. The coordination between me and her was so good. Like we were just flowing. We were just flowing. We never even took like five minutes or ten minutes. It was very, very smooth and swift and fast. So after me doing the average, she took a paper, she wrote my my ID, my my ID of that day, and then she wrote a number on it. It was number 54. So I was told to come the previous day. That was uh, on a Monday. So we had a team that had to go for the second uh, interview on Sunday. So for us that we came, uh, we went for six, we were given on Monday. I was so happy, guys. First of all, I was so happy because it was my first time trying this. And you seeing yourself being given a, a second chance for a next interview, it gives you that confidence and it it feels like it feels so good it feels so good but i can't lie i felt so good and mind you the girl who was in who went before me didn't get the paper didn't get the paper hey so i had to make the room so vibrant for me to win this this interviewer or the recruiter so i was lucky enough to be given that paper i felt so good i thank god and i felt like okay Yvonne, you can do it the second one you can do it so it came on the next session was on 8th the same same month 8th of this january and that was the assessment day the assessment day is the day they do a lot of things guys this is the day they do a lot of things forget about the first day the second day is the day that you now you're going to interact so much with these recruiters so uh, my uh, my, I think we were all to arrive at exactly eight, but you had to go fifteen minutes early, so that you can as well check in, be prepared for what they're going to uh, to tell you for that day. So for me, I arrived immediately. Uh, I arrived earlier, like I arrived at seven. I always love love going for an interview some minutes early, so that you can as well go mingle with be uh, mingle with people like prepare yourself calm down wipe off like just brush on your your makeup and just like be prepared for the interview so i arrived around seven and for the second day i had to take a a, a ride because i feel like i'll be late because that's the time many people are reporting to work and it's a monday <sighs> traffic with Nairobi. you just have to be early so i went in very early 
and I got some people that were already there, so I wasn't the first person. I was like the tenth, the tenth, the tenth or the twentieth person to arrive to the room. So uh, we waited for the recruiters. They came very early, like they came some minutes before eight. We started the session. The first thing they do, they will ask for your 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 sheet that you are, you are given on the first day. They will record down your ID and your number that is on top of your sheet. That's that's the number that you're going to use for the entire session, like for the en entire uh, remaining days. They will not mention your name, they will not call you by your names, but they will just be calling by your numbers. So the first thing they did is the introduction, they introduced themselves, and then they gave us a history about Qatar Airways. Uh, as you know, Qatar Airways is the award-winning team, and I feel like it's a team of ambitious people, and I pray hard to God that one day one day <laughs> yeah one day so they, they 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 introduced themselves they told us about qatar airlines we're the best and they 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 told us like everything that that she that is needed to be told yeah and they always travel 160 destinations so that's basically what they told us and then it came this time my friend, this time of English test, <laughs> I was shaking. It's not that I don't know English. You can as well know English, but because of the speed, you can as well forget what to write. I was tensing, guys. I was tensing. Okay, they, they said, so can you breathe in and breathe out so that you can calm down and do your test? They issued the papers, they issued the papers, but the first thing they said, you should not open the paper, and then they give you the guidelines. So the paper, the paper, it's it's three, it's like three papers, so on top is the place where you have to, like, do everything, like, the, the answer should be on top, and you have to, to, to shed in the, in the, in the, in the, it, was it a rectangle, or a, a, it was a, it was a, it was a it was a rectangle yeah it was a rectangle and it's somehow huge it's not that small so you have to shade inside and fill the space so well so they gave us the out uh, the guidelines how to do it and they said it's time to start guys the paper took 20 minutes 20 minutes two essays and then I can say it's a paragraph. The first one is that it's like a conversation between uh, the cabin crew and the and the passenger. So it's like a conversation, you know, the conversation how it should be it should be flowing, how it, all those. And then the last two uh, two questions of which I never even read. I just guessed, <laughs> guys. I guessed. Then the two paragraphs. It's like an essay. So these two paragraphs are somehow convincing because when you read the question uh, when you read the the answers they seem to be similar you have to use your upstairs and it's 20 minutes guys 20 minutes so i think they're testing on your speed and then the flow like the flow of your english i think yeah and you like basically it's just your speed 20 minutes and this is the time you feel like 20 minutes is like one minute. Guys, you don't have to read the question two times. One trial shared the answer. The second question shared the answer. They said five minutes when I was the first paragraph. So I was just to brush in. When you look on the questions, you just relate. Like just try to relate to relate with the with the passage. Yeah. Just relate with the passage. So that is what basically I did. So uh, they say that time is up. <laughs> time is up and I haven't finished. So for me, <laughs> if you are in primary, by the way, they always give the, the choices like A, B, and C. So you have to select. For me, for the last passage and the last questions, I guessed. I guessed, guys. I can't lie. I guessed. Because... This was my first attempt. I have never been to that room. I have never been. Like, I don't know how this test is done. But I, do you know what? I made it. I made it. Bravo. Bravo, Yvonne.
you merit. I finished the questions, we collected the papers, and then we were given like 25 minutes for them to bring the, uh, the, the, the results. So uh, that's the time you have to go and like have breakfast if you, you can afford to buy breakfast to Hilton Gardens Inn Hotel. If you can, if you can, go to the bathroom, freshen up, then come back and sit down and wait for them to come. My friend, 25 minutes was like one hour. At that time, everyone was shaking. <laughs> everyone was literally shaking because you don't know what is coming out. So it reached a time for them to return back the results. When you, you will just see them entering the room, you just shake. I don't know what always happens, guys. But I think it's a, it's a feeling for everyone. So they came and then they sent the numbers that I'm going to read. Uh, you should wake up and go see the recruiter from uh, Trinidad. And then she will guide you more about that. When you hear that, just know you have just to take your belongings and go. They read the first number, the second number, the fourth number, the fifth number, the sixth. It was like there were only around 10 people who left the room. And we were almost 120. Yeah. So I think we Kenyans, we know English. <laughs> we know English. By the way, English test is not hard. I can I can say that. It's not hard. It's not even hard, by the way. It's very, very easy. And they will they just play around with your mind. The the answers are almost similar. So it's you too. Like you just have to know how to, yeah, to interact with the client or the passenger or wherever. But be brave and smart. So we, I did it. That's the second interview I passed. I was happy. I was glad. I feel relieved. I feel like now that men in session, that was an easy thing for me. Nothing will stop me from being a cabin crew. You know. So they told us to 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 prepare for the for the third session of that uh, for the second session of third day. So this is the terrible one. Terrible! I tell you guys, this is the terrible. This is the time they are going to check on your scars, scars and tattoos. So guys, this is the time. I told God, you know what? It's just you and me, no one else. It's just you and me. So they, they were to call a group, a number of people to go to this room, another one to this room, another one to this room. And then they like they know uh, they know the numbers like this recruiter gave out on the first day, this one and this one. So you cannot meet your, your first recruiter who gave you the first uh, opportunity to come for the second day. They're so smart. They are so smart. They are so unlike that. They're very smart. They are very smart, my friend. They are very smart. You can't meet your first recruiter. You have to meet another person. So on this case, there's no corruption. There is no corruption. And these people, they're not people that you've ever met or you will meet anywhere. No. No, please, no. So I feel like this is the genuine deal. It's just you and God. So for me, I was uh, I was number 54, so I had to go to this Romanian. I tell you, my friend, it was my time to go in. The first thing they'll, they'll ask you is your hair. Is your hair color natural or artificial? You have to say natural or artificial. I said natural because mine was natural. This is my natural. It's natural. They look at your nails. Are they natural or artificial? Do you know what? She said mine were artificial. I said, no, ma'am. Mine are natural. <laughs> you can as well look from inside. Mine are natural. And she told me, oh, wow. They, they look so beautiful. I feel so good. Forgetting that is a place she's going to meet. She's she going to get me. <laughs> so she told me to, like, put my hands straight on the table. And guys... The light that is being used inside is not, I don't know that kind of light. The Katai Niska is being seen. So you, you can't like 
you can't help her here you can't you can't please you can't if it's your turn to go home it's your turn it's your time to go home they told me to put down my hands she looked on my hands on this part i don't have a scar and then she found it here this one guys i don't know if you can see i'm using the back camera so i hope you can see the scar this one and then this one is not a scar even it's just a mark so this is the point i was i felt like now this is the time for me to go home <laughs> again our vaccination scar if you are a kenyan i hope everyone has this but some of our, some of our girls they don't have i don't know how they do it but it happened that i have so he she noted down this one she nodded down this one she nodded down i have this black marks here this one i don't know what happened it's like an infection i had on my hand so these ones they were not yet cleared she nodded down and then she asked me which she asked me um which are the customer service skills customer service skills we have three major ones problem solver team player and communication those ones are the three major ones in case you go in any interview and they ask you about the customer service skills or your strength those three are the like the, that is all so i answered and then she told me okay mom you're done for your session so i went back to the room and then we waited for the for the results guys i never thought i can lose this opportunity by just this small scar this one made me to lose <laughs> guys this one made me to lose so they came in they read the numbers so this time round the numbers that are going to be read are those ones that are going to remain behind for the next session. So they read almost, it was 20, around 20 numbers out of 120 that you were inside. 20 people only remained. 100, you were sent out. Like you have to go. And there's, not, like, there's nothing you can talk about. You just have to pick your belongings and go home. I, to, I tell you guys, it never, like, I never felt so bad when I was leaving. But after I arrived in my house, I cried. I literally cried. I cried. I felt like, you know what, Yvonne? Even if you cry, it has happened. You just have to accept. You just have to accept. I cried, I called my parents, they encouraged me, I called the man of God, he talked to me nicely almost three hours, and I felt good. I told God, uh, you know what, this, uh, this is something that has been caused by God, it's not even certain, you've tried your level best. Eh? <laughs> you've tried your level best, like reaching where I, I reached, is not an, it's not an easy job by the way, I cannot say that it's easy. So for the guys, for the ladies that remained behind, I can tell you for free, no one had scars. No one had scars. And I'm like, Kwane <laughs> awalizaliwa wapi? They never even like, Kwane awalizaliwa wapi hawana scars. Guys, these ladies never had scars. They never had scars. And for me, uh, I will say that this was a genuine recruitment. That's the thing I can say. It's a genuine recruitment because this is something uh, that is done when you sing. Like I cannot say that I was just denied a chance. No. I feel like these people, they want all of their team members to be the same. 
Like you cannot be finger pointed out that this one is a Kenyan, this one is from Uganda, this one is from no. You all Qatar Airways cabin crew. You like you just literally the same. The only thing that can make you different is your skin color. But with anything else, no, they are very genuine. I can be, I can attest that they are very, very, very genuine. So I, the aim of me making this video is just to encourage someone outside there. For my viewers, for anyone who is going to watch my video, kindly share this video to anyone outside who is willing to go for an interview with Qatar Airways. If at all you feel like you're good enough for this, go for it, guy. Go for it, girl. This is a golden opportunity that you I will never want to miss. By the way, I'm working on my scars. I want to get rid of these scars, and next time when they advertise, I'm going for it. I'm going, for, I'm not giving up. I'm going for it. For next time, I'll make it. Because I, I feel like I already know what always goes on. So next time. I'll make it. So you, uh, anyone who is outside the end, he or she feels like she wants to go for this position. First thing, polish on your English. Second thing, be courageous. Be brave. Like, you should just have a customer service experience. Like, just even work for a hotel. Just have something from hospitality. That will make you uh, uh, qualify for this for this position because their qualification is always minimum hmm? minimum age of twenty one, arm reach of two hundred and twelve centimeters, and then uh, a form for certificate. That's the minimum, and then you should have an experience with customer service. So, like, if you've ever done customer service job, apply for this. Qatar Airways is a place I can. I can say go for it because the benefits and the salary, hmm, it's not something even you can joke of. So guys, I would just want to advise for my for those who who did their form for and they feel like they can apply for this. If I told you no, you don't have a scar, you don't have a tattoo, I go for it. Go for it, fight for your position. Fight for your position, guys. Fight for your position. Encourage your sister, your brother to go try this opportunity. This is the opportunity that it's a field open for everyone. Like, they're not even asking for, for three years experience. No, they're not even asking for such like things. But you should be scar free, tattoo free. Yeah. And be courageous. Confidence. Smile. That's the only thing that will give you a job. So guys, that marks the end of me. So the scar session was my last, my last interview that I had. And I lost guys. I lost, but I know God has a purpose and a reason for everything. And I feel like I have already known what always goes on. And next time I can as well try and I'll make it. I'll make it. So guys, if you want a job, just try everything you can. Try. You never know where your luck is. When you see me here, I have tried police. I did everything. But it reached a place that I wasn't capable. I lost a chance. But I, I couldn't say that I cannot. I did. Let me go and let something else fails me but it's not that i'm just saying ah me yosi wezi that one i cannot go for try everything try everything you never know where you are luck is don't sit uh, don't sit home idol and don't say that you there's no job in kenya we have a lot we have a lot i can tell you that we have a lot it's just about your brain about your qualities and about your I will keep on repeating about your confidence. Confidence will give you everything. Confidence will make you go in a room that even you are not supposed to. But because you're so confident and with customer service, of course, you just have to 
smile your uh, your your teeth should be outside oh they should be outside that's how you're going to engage with the with the clients that's how you're going to engage with the passengers that's how you're going to like engage with anyone you should be vibrant and you you should be this is something you should you should just practice yeah just practice to smile to anyone even if they come and their their face looks like she like this one she doesn't give a, a damn try just smile and convince that person to smile too so guys that marks the end of the hey sorry that marks the end of me with qatar airways and i feel like i've encouraged someone somewhere and girl go for you for go for it you will make it go for it you will make it bye bye thank you for watching and kindly don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share because i feel like this one is going to help someone somewhere so uh without forgetting keep checking the website of qatar airways emirates it had this all these airlines they do advertise their jobs on the website or if i tell you have someone already working with them tell them to send you the the link so that you can keep on trying trying until you get your luck yeah so bye bye guys bye bye guys don't forget to subscribe like and share let's reach to where god has planned for us to reach this year guys please subscribe bye bye